Ah, ah. Oh. Well, hello there. My name is Dr. Spielenhagen von Leiden. I will be teaching you the difference between mitosis and meiosis. Grab a seat, won't you? Let's start with mitosis. The first stage of mitosis is interphase. During interphase, the cell replicates its DNA and prepares for nuclear division. Isn't that right? No scat. Early prophase. The chromosomes condense, becoming shorter and thicker. The centrioles move to opposite poles of the cell, and the spindle fibers begin to form. Can you see that? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Get out of here. The next stage is late prophase. Chromosomes continue to condense, and the centrioles assemble, and spindle fibers attach to the centrioles of the chromosomes. It's metaphase's turn for crying out loud, late prophase. Come on. During metaphase, chromosomes line up at the equilateral plate, and the nuclear membrane completely dissolves. Can't you see that's right here? There's no nuclear membrane. The next stage of mitosis is anaphase. During anaphase, the centromeres divide and the resulting chromosomes, formerly chromatids, move to opposite poles of the cell. An identical set of chromosomes move to each pole. And the final stage of mitosis is telophase. During telophase, the chromosomes lengthen again. The spindle fibers dissolve and a nuclear membrane forms around the new chromosomes. In humans, each new nucleus contains 46 new chromosomes. It's amazing! Mitosis occurs in order to create new body cells in the human body. Now let us move on to the stage that the scientific community likes to call meiosis. During meiosis, we have prophase 1. That's you, have you've been hovering in the corner there, you know. The replicated chromosomes condense. Homologous chromosomes come together in synapsis and crossing over occurs. Chromosomes attach to the spindle. During metaphase 1, which comes after prophase 1, the chromosomes line up at the equilateral plate, as in the center of the cell. After metaphase 1, we have anaphase 1. Each chromosome separates from its homologue, and they move to opposite poles of the cell. After anaphase 1, we have telophase 1. The nucleus completes its division, the chromosomes are still composed of sister chromatids, and the cytoplasm divides after telophase. Now the second part of meiosis is meiosis 2. Just like in meiosis 1, we have stage 2 of each phase. In prophase 2, the centrioles in the two new cells move to opposite poles, and new spindle fibers form from them. The chromosomes become attached to the spindle fibers. After prophase 2, we have a metaphase 2. The chromosomes line up at the equilateral plate, just like metaphase 1. And after metaphase 2, we have anaphase. Sister chromatids of each chromosome separate and move to opposite poles. Fantastic. And now we move on to telophase 2. My cells are not working right now. In telophase 2, the cytoplasm separates, leaving four haploid daughter cells. The chromosome number has been reduced by half. These cells may become gametes. Mitosis occurs so we can get more cells in the human body. And meiosis occurs so we can get more gametes. Very simple in my mind. Ah! Stop it, Tilo Face One! Ah! 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 Get back out of face! Ah! No! Ah!